Good morning. I'm not gonna hurt you. Can you take this? It's my tax return. Your paper tax return? It already has the exact postage, and I went to the post office. <laughs> you do not want to go to the post office today. No offense. You know you can do all this online. Through the information superhighway? <laughs> no, no, that's not safe. What do you mean, not safe? The scammers and the fishers, they're out there watching and listening. See, that's what the feds want too, your data, to link it all together so that you're under like a blanket of surveillance where everything you do and everywhere you go is monitored and recorded. Do you have a cell phone? Yeah. They already know where you are. Yeah. Plus, with a paper return, the IRS has to enter all your data into their computers manually. <laughs> this big backlog. Using the World Wide Web makes it easier for them to tag you for an audit. What's your name and return address? Donald Pereira, 62 Kirkstall Road. From the headquarters, which will get expired in next 24 working hours. And once it gets expired after that, you will be taken under custody by the local police, as there are four serious allegations pressed on your name at this moment. We would request you to get back to us so that we can discuss about this case. What? Shit! Hello, my name is Agent Christopher Nelling from IRS. What is your name, Look, please? You are not the IRS, and your name is not Christopher. Hello, my name is IRS agent John Bowman, who's calling. What you're doing is illegal! This is IRS. This is a I'm scam. Agent William Jackson. You? Bastard. Hello, this is agent. Do you Hillary sleep well at night? You should quit your job! Does your mother know what you're doing? Motherfucker! Is your Hello, father proud of how his son is cheating people? Hello, this is the IRS. My name is Agent Peter Watson. Who am I speaking with, please? You are not the IRS. What you're doing is wrong. Yes, sir. Uh, you're upset, sir. How can I help you? Yes, I'm angry. You're cheating people out of their money, and you're preying on those people who are most vulnerable. Poor people. Old people. Yes, sir. Talk to me, sir. Talk to you? Why are you doing this? Is this how you want to live your life as a thief? Yes, you are right. I know this is wrong, that it is illegal. So why? Is someone in your family sick? Is there some kind of financial hardship? No. No one is sick, but yes, we have a financial hardship. It's very difficult, sir, to make any money, to have a job. Does your mother know what you're doing? No. My parents don't know. They're actually very proud of me for having a job in a call center. But they don't know the kind of work I do, and I don't want to tell them. They would be ashamed. I want them to just take the money, sir, and not be burdened. So your goal is to get my money as much as you can, however you can? Yes, sir. That is correct. I am prepared to take Visa, a MasterCard, American Express, Venmo, personal check, bank transfer, money order, and gift cards from Amazon and 17 other major retailers. As much as I can, sir. However I can. Americans can afford it, sir. But what about your karma? Our actions are only a fraction of what determines our fate. And this is my own karma, sir, here on the line. So I have to be prepared to accept all the consequences. Look, no one wants to do this uh, crap job, sir. No one enjoys to do this work. I didn't know this place did this cheating when I started, but now... Are you a Catholic? Sir? A Catholic? <laughs> no, I'm not a Catholic. What religion are you? Are you an atheist? No, I don't really have a religion. Do you believe in God, Donnie? What? Uh... No, no, I don't believe in God in the way, you, probably in the way you're asking, or in the way we call it God, or, you know, I think if we put a face on it or build a temple, we're in the wrong place. I'm into the mysteries, the mystery of our life and who we are, and I'm not really into organized religions. Were you brought up with any God? 
My father is from India, but he's a Catholic. My mother's Italian, so... Uh, where in India is your father from, sir? He's from a town called Jabalpur. It's in Madhya Pradesh near Bhopal. Yes, yes, I know Jabalpur, sir. You do? Have you been to the Crystal Rocks? It's a great honeymoon place. They also have a lot of universities. Did you go to school there? I, no, I have never been there. But I'm in India, sir. I know that place. Can, can I ask you one favor, sir? A favor? Sure. Do you have any image there of Jesus in your home? Jesus? No, no. Uh, I have a small statue of Nandi the bull and a photo of Krishna. Or at least I think it's Krishna. I could be Shiva the destroyer. It's blue. Which one is that? Anyway, I object to the image of the blonde-haired, blue-eyed Jesus that we have in this country. I don't think that Jesus historically looked like that. <laughs> like Mel Gibson. <laughs> hey, you know Mel Gibson? Right? Yes, I know Mel Gibson. <laughs> No. Then, can you pray for me, sir? I'm sorry. Can you pray for me? In whatever way you pray, please pray for me. You want me to... Pray for me to get out of this, sir. And into a better job. And into a better life. Yes. Yes, I will pray for you. Thank you, sir. Okay. Okay. Is there anything else I can assist you with today, sir? Nope. I think that's pretty much it. Well, if there is nothing else, it has been my pleasure to provide you with the most excellent service today, sir. Goodbye. We need to talk to you as soon as possible. This call is from the Department of Social Security Administration. If it's not fixed right away, then your computer will become obsolete and all of your credential information may got compromised. Right now, you and your physical property both are being monitored and it's very important that I do hear back from you as soon as possible before we proceed further in any legal manner. Your social security number is getting used illegally for money laundering and fake loans. If this is not getting done by you, please press 1 now. We are cancelling your social security number. My direct callback number is... For further information and to avoid any disciplinary actions, kindly call us back. Please ignore if we called you by mistake. Thanks.